Hello chess lovers, Zorin here and in this video I want to share with you a very interesting chess puzzle composed by the 7th world chess champion Vasily Smyslov. This was first published in 1938 in a Soviet chess magazine chess in the USSR. The task is to draw with the white pieces. By the way, I have to tell you that at the time of composing this puzzle, Smyslov was around 17 years old. So, have you already got the answer? Ready? Now look, despite the huge material disadvantage, White is managing to draw the game by forming a fortress and relying on the fact that Black King is on a very awkward square. In here, the best move is Bishop F6 check. The solution is starting with the Bishop sacrifice. By the way, I was very surprised when seeing that Stockfish managed to figure out the solution in a blink of a second and it manages to form fortress successfully. As you know, engines are not good in understanding fortresses, but from time to time I am stumbling upon puzzles where they are managing to find the right path pretty well. Uh, so, as I've already mentioned, the best move is bishop f6 check and I have to tell you that other continuations are losing. If f takes g4 then king takes g4, you can't make use of this passed pawn black is faster or if a move like f4 then rook a6 check is coming followed by king takes h5 black is winning that's why white is starting to form a fortress by going for a bishop sacrifice it takes f6 and f4 with this move white is burying black king on h4 rook h8 check king g7 and rook takes h5 black is getting rid of white pawn as soon as quickly otherwise it could become a huge menace and here comes a4 it's very important to keep the king on g7 square and from here on it turns out that black has no way of making a progress if rook g8 check then king h8 it's very important not to accept the rook sacrifice because black can win pretty quickly that's why white is playing king h8 and if king h5 then king h7 just no way to make a progress with the black pieces guys this is crazy and unbelievable how are you going to make a progress if rook h6 check then king g7 and again there is no way to make a progress if here then again king h7 and yeah Oh, already we have a threefold repetition and at some point if you try a move like king h6 then stalemate appears on the board and this is how white manages to draw the game despite the huge material disadvantage this is what it means to form a fortress right well in the end a chess problem for you where the task is to find mate in three the task is very easy and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video, take care.